What is up guys, we're gonna be doing a header and bootstrap today. We're gonna to go ahead and get started by creating a new project in IntelliJ. So we're just gonna create an empty project. We're gonna name it header example. Click finish. Open this up, we can press okay. So we are starting from fresh because we do have to install bootstrap and an angular project. So here we can say NGGC, I'm sorry, NG new project. And let's just call it header proj, if I can type correctly. We can say yes to Angular routing. I'm a big SCSS guy, even though we'll be using that in this video, so I probably wouldn't worry about it. And let that install. So after that installs, we want to go to file, and then if you want to open the project structure in the settings, we can go to the modules, and we can hit plus, and we want to import a module because we just created it. So if you go to your header project, oh, I'm sorry, if you go to the header example, and we want to click the one we just created and hit open. And we can create model from existing sources. Next, finish. And we can apply. Press OK. And you see the project popped up. And this is the new Angular project we're going to be working with. First thing we want to do is install Bootstrap to the Angular project. So if you want to right click on that project, you can say Open in Terminal. And it's as easy as npm install bootstrap dash dash save. Now we also need to install something called popper that is going to make it where we can use the drop down. And so it's the same exact thing except for it's popper.js dash dash save. If you want to check and make sure you have that, you can just open up the package.json, which will be at the bottom of the project. So you can see we have the popper and we see we have the bootstrap. Now one thing, uh, the one final thing we need to do is go to the angular.json and go to the scrap. The, so if you go down here to the build and you go to the styles and scripts, we can import the bootstrap and the styles and we can in import the bootstrap and the scripts. Good to go. Now our project knows we have bootstrap and we can get started on the header. So let's go ahead and open up the app component HTML, get rid of all this default stuff. And if you scroll down to the description, you'll see the link. And we're just gonna copy and paste because they already gave it to us, but it's actually the bootstrap website and if you want to scroll down to where the drop down menu is, so here is the one we're going to use today. We can just copy that. And we can actually just paste that in there. So if we just run that by uh, using the command ng serve, now we can go to the web browser and just type in localhost 4200. And boom, it's actually that easy. So now we have a nav bar at the top. And you can see this one drops down which with the buttons. So you can customize that how you want to, but we're gonna customize it with a login button today and actually make this drop down link go to another page. So now that we have this all copied, let's make a login and log out button. And we usually see that to the right of the screen, so we're gonna do that as well. So let's get rid of the features and the pricing. Just have the home and drop down. And we're actually going to create another unordered list. So we're going to say UL, and we're going to give this the same class as above, which is navbar dash nav. And we can actually copy this list item. We're going to copy it twice because we're going to have a login. We're going to have a logout. So currently it looks like this, but we want it to the right. So in order to do that, if you just go to the first unordered list and add this class right here, me-auto. Now if we save it, you have it. So 
We have the log in and log out button to the right like we usually see and then a drop down link. So the next thing I want to do is make this drop down link actually do something. So let's instead of say action, let's say go to a new page. And we're going to do slash new new page. Now right now this does nothing because we don't have anything that goes to a new page or any other component, but we're going to make that. So if you want to right click the app, go to open in terminal. And using ng, we can say nggc, which is generating a component, and we can just call it new dash page. Let that load. Now we have a new page. So new page works. Now it's still not going to go to it because the Angular project doesn't know how to get there. So if you open up a file called app.routing.module, we can actually paste, well not paste, we can actually come up with the route. So we know we're going to have a path which is called new page. And then the component is the one we just created, which is the new page component. Another project knows where the new page is. So there's one thing we need to do before we do this is add a app routing module. And that is just simply, we could say div, give this div a class called container, container fluid, and we can say router outlet, and this will route all our pages which is the new page. So if you want to save that and go back to the, uh, the local host, you can see that this is the home page. If you hit the drop down link, go to new page. It has a new page slash and new page works. So now you can go back and forth between links and pages. If you want to, you can add another one, add more pages, just like a regular website. So the last thing we're going to do is add a login and logout button. So what we need to do is add a variable, a boolean, to keep track whether the user is logged in or not. And in order to do that, we can just say logged in. Equals false. We want to spell that. If I can learn how to spell. And this is as simple as on the click on the login, we want to say login equals the opposite. Well, we want to say true, right? And if I hit login on the log out, we want to say click logged in equals false. Now, we only want to show the login if the user is logged out and the opposite true for the logout button. So the cool thing is, if you have an ng if, star ng if, logged in, and we're going to put the exclamation point. So we're going to say if logged in is false, which they're logged out, then we want to show it. And this will be the same, except for we're going to say if they're logged in, then show the logout button. Now, if you go to window you see that the user is not logged in they can hit log in and now the user is logged in and if they want to log out they can log out and it just switches back and forth now obviously you wouldn't have this for an actual user but it shows how you use a uh, nav bar hopefully i explained that well if you have any questions feel free to comment and the code is also in the description below